Goodbye, Ted. <laughs> Bye, Ted. You gotta go in. Come on. <laughs> oh, morning all. Beautiful day. Sun's out. Marvellous. Right, um, I know the Tigra videos have been a little bit spasmodic uh, and all over the place, but uh, let me just, today, because I can't do much work on the car, just catch up on what I've been doing and successes and things that have gone well and things that still need sorting out. Here we go. So I'm hoping the wind doesn't affect uh, too much. So it's, um, yes, 2005 Tigra. Um, what can I say about it? Well, when I got it, it was running quite rough, as you know. Um, since then, um, cleaned all the math up. I've also cleaned the uh, body control module up as well, which seemed to be affecting it in some way. Um, and I'll come on to that in a minute. Uh, body control module is in there. Probably insert a video just to, uh, to give you a little bit more of a clue what I'm talking about. So it's, um, it's had a good clean. Uh, it's not come up too bad at all. Obviously, um, it's an old car, so there are a few dings on it, a little bit there, and uh, let's, let's go around, there's a dink here somewhere, yeah, a little, little dink there, a little dink there, not too bad, to be honest, for the age of the car. Um, the interior um, needed a really good clean, and it's had that, and uh, as you can see now, seats all nice and clean, also repaired the bolsters, uh, which is in a separate video. And it's now got some nice little mats in it as well that I splashed out. Um, and the interior now is looking nice and clean and fresh. And pretty much everything is okay, apart from the one thing that has become my nemesis. Let me sit in the car, because I think the wind's uh, just blowing a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, just turn on the ignition. We'll turn a little bit of uh, music down. And I'll close the door. So, the nemesis. It's the windows. The windows work fine. This is the crazy thing. So I've got to hold the button on them. The comfort close doesn't work, but there you go. They work fine. But if I take my finger off, it obviously goes down. Now, the one thing it doesn't do is when you open the door, uh, let me take it up and I'll show you what I mean. So when you open the door, it doesn't drop, which makes opening the door <sighs> tricky. You've got to bring the window down. That's what it's supposed to do. Just drop the window, but it's not doing it. Now, the faults I'm left with is, there's two things that come to mind straight away. Oh, I think, actually, let me take the top down. Let me show you how well the top works because it's getting warm today. So as you can see, let me turn you around. There we go. Everything works as it should with the top. Oh, look at that. Down it goes. It's quite a nafty system, actually. And something the, the missus fell in love with years ago when we bought her one of these, uh, almost brand new. There you go, so that works fine. But the last thing should be the windows should come up and you can see neither of them do. So where was I? Um, right, so the two things that I'm left with is the body control module. Although I've cleaned it and although it seems to be working okay, um, although I found a, a dry joint in it, we'll just hold it back up again, wasn't a problem. Also heated it up with a heat gun, uh, just uh, in case there was any more dry joints, to try and make it seal. Now it's, it's working, it's doing everything, the radio works, um, the dash works, everything works. As you can see, the roof works. But I'm, I'm stuck with one thing. Um, I hadn't got the car pass code, the security code for the car, so I've had to get that from Vauxhall. Um, 40 quid for the privilege. Yeah, for a card. Hmm, not a bad little learner, that. But anyway, here's what it is. Um, and what I want to do is plug in my VAGCOM, or VAXCOM, whichever way you say it, um, or VOXCOM. VOXCOM. VAGCOM's out, isn't it? Yeah, VOXCOM. Stop waffling reefs. Uh, so I want to plug that in. I want to reset the body control module. Now I can't do that without the security code. So I'm still waiting for that. Um, I've also got a new body control module on the way. Uh, say new, second hand one um, for a breaker shard. So I've got two options there. Um, the problem I've got is obviously the coding because unless you code the body control module into the car using the security code, um, it won't even start and the immobilizer will come on and it, it'll do nothing so that's where i'm stuck at the moment the other one and i think this is in a, another video as well was the dash um i can connect to the dash module but 
it's sort of intermittent. It'll come up, it'll read it, and then it will flash away again uh, and go blank. And it will keep doing that. Um, it does kind of settle down after a while and it does let you read the fault codes, which there are no fault codes in it. It, it did have an original fault code with the trip button um, being stuck. It wasn't. That was me trying to get into the, um, the e-prompt, I think it's called. Um, so that's where I am at the moment. I'm, I'm not 100% sure the dash is OK. The module may be knacked in that. I don't know. But I'm not convinced it is. Um, another red herring I had was the, um, the buckle um, or the uh, the seatbelt clasp was showing buckled. Um, but again, I think it's a bit of a red herring. It's all a bit weird. I am convinced it's down to the body control module. I've even had the module in the back off uh, that controls the roof and everything. And as you can see, the roof works, which is really annoying because usually when the control module goes in the back with water ingress or whatever it may be that's broke it, um, nothing will work, but the roof works fine. As you can see, the roof's off now and it is working fine. The only bit that doesn't work is the soft close. Um, I think that's what they call it. But um, bringing the windows up, and also if you hold your button down on your keypad, on, on your um, remote key, uh, like so, it's supposed to wind the windows up for you. If you've left them down, for instance, if you hold it down, it's supposed to put them up. And I think it does it when it's the other opposite way around as well. So it will put them down if you want to do that. It's not doing it, which says to me body control module every time. But I'm convinced if I reset it, it'll work. But we shall see. Anyway, that is a bit of an update, a bit of a waffle. I'm sorry about that. Um, but the car is clean. Uh, so all the bolsters on the seats now are, are spot on. It's um, it's not hurting my backside when I get in. Um, it's it's shiny and it's actually going for its MOT on Tuesday. So I'll have a bit more content after Tuesday. Um, I don't think it will fail, but I'm going to go through it this weekend. Just have a look at the brakes and make sure everything's uh, as good as I can make it. Um, I've not noticed any problems with it. I've only took it up and down this private area here which is our cul-de-sac um, obviously it can't go on the main road although it's insured um, it's obviously not MOT'd uh, or taxed either so the MOT is the key if it goes through the MOT fine then I've got two options if I can't get the windows working I can sell it uh, you know with the known fault of having these windows um, but I want to get them working it's become a bit of a challenge so that's where I am um, it's a waffle like I said but it's a, a bit of an update as well. Um, I've got a couple of little jobs to do this weekend. There's a couple of little touch-ups that need to be done. I've got some touch-up paint now, so just a couple of touch-ups that need to be done. Um, and then just really check it over for the MOT. I don't think it's going to fail on anything. I, I had a quick look around it, and I say I've drove it up and down our private road here, and um, it seems fine. So... We shall see. You never know with an MOT. There can be things that you just can't see. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for joining me. And uh, sorry about the waffle. I know some people don't like it. But, you know, at the moment, I can't do much content until I get the security code, uh, the car pass. When I get that, we'll have a play. See you later. Oh, and one last thing. <laughs> My clip broke. That's okay. I got a new one. <laughs> Should we fit it? Yeah, with two hands maybe. There you go. Much more secure. <laughs>